ilang araw pagkatapos ng Miss Universe, may lumabas na comment. Ang sabi dito, The truth need to be told. The gown was sent late by Michael's team. And when it arrived, nine of them fitted. Oh my God. They were able to fix the one of the finals, but the one for free limbs, we didn't have time. For short mga sesh, this comment is absolutely wrong. Rumiak o dumipensa yung designer na si Michael Cinco. Napakahaba na sinabi niya at walang katotohanan yung sinabi sa comment na ito. At lumabas pa na ang comment na ito is from Miss Universe Canada Organization. Hi everyone. So I just want to address the feud that recently transpired between my team, MG Mode and Michael Cinco. Unfortunately, I've been made to be involved. So I just want to clarify a few things. This really hurts me because I have nothing but love for both parties. They have both helped me in ways that I can't even count. So every day I do count my blessings because of these two people. MG Mode, or I guess three, because MG Mode is two people, and Michael Cinco. Michael, I have nothing but love and gratitude towards you. You have created the most beautiful gown I could even think of. I've never once imagined that I would work with you because you're Michael Cinco. So the fact that I was able to work with you is honestly a highlight of my career as Miss Universe Canada. So I just want you to know that that gratitude will never diminish no matter what. And I've expressed that gratitude publicly and privately. And God knows, God knows my heart. I, I really do advocate for gratitude because I really feel that gratitude is the greatest multiplier in life. The more grateful you are in life, the more life gives to you. So please know that that will never change. I will continue and will always be grateful towards you because you have been nothing but kind to me. Nothing but kind. Yeah, this this really breaks my heart because I love you both so much and you both helped me in many ways that I can even imagine. MG Mode, you guys know that I love you so, so much. You have made my dream of meeting my family a reality along with Ethiopian Airlines and the Miss Universe Canada organization. So just to have these two highlights of my career be attached to such negativity is what I don't like. I don't like that at all because I want to look back and think, wow, I've worked with Michael Single, the Michael Single, and wow, I met my family. 2021 has been a year of so many blessings for me. Meeting my family, working with Michael Single, shooting in the desert. Like how could I how could I forget those events? How could I not be thankful? So it just boggles my mind that my gratitude would even be in question. Anyone knows anytime I talk about my gowns and these three individuals actually, I always express nothing but thanks because they have all been so great to me. So please, all I'm asking is that you attach these great events of my life with positivity because they've been nothing but positive for me. Working with Michael Cinco, that's a once in a lifetime. Not everyone gets that opportunity. And I will forever be grateful. And seeing my family, all of this happened during a pandemic. And all of this happened because of Miss Universe Canada and MG Mode and Ethiopian Airlines. So I just want you guys to stop fighting. I want this to be taken privately. I don't think you are both deserving of this. It's, it's not fair to all of your hard work. I don't and I want to question any of your integrities because I stand behind the three of you. I think you are all great individuals and I just I just want that to be the last thing to remember. It's like, wow, Michael's amazing. Wow, Keith McGill are amazing. That's all I want because you are amazing individuals. So for all of you online, please don't don't give into the drama. It's not worth it. Let's not let's not spread more negativity. Let's just spread love. It's it's so draining and I'm sad that I have to stop what I'm doing and and address this. I just want to take a few minutes away from social media and just reflect on life and just, you know, figure out what my next move are and just be with my friends and family. But I'm unable to do that because I have to address this. And it's not fair. It's not fair to anyone. It's not fair to any of anyone involved that they have to stop what they're doing and get into this negativity. This is devil's work. I don't think... 
yeah, I don't think it's worth it. So please just to spread love, um, don't give in. Let's have the last memories be of nothing but love and kindness.